Hello everybody, Gavin McCormack here. This week we're in Antarctica and we're talking all about one of the big apex predators, the leopard seal. One of the most fiercest hunters here in the great southern ocean. Big sharp teeth, very long three and a half meter body and extremely agile. And we are very lucky to be here with Hannah. Hello, Hannah. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Now, Hannah is a scientist, naturalist, enthusiast, and marine biologist. Yeah. Can we call you that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, we're really lucky to have Hannah here this week because she's brought us to a beautiful cove here on the Antarctic Peninsula. And right behind us, we have a leopard seal hunting. On the cliffs just behind, you can see a huge colony of Adelie penguins. Now, they're just hanging around, getting ready to take a swim. But in these icy waters, there is a predator lurking. And that predator is the mighty leopard seal. Behind us, we have a huge iceberg, Hannah. Tell us, how important is ice when it comes to the life of a leopard seal? Well, ice is very important because that is where they sleep. So huh? they will fall themselves out of the, uh, the ocean and that is where they will rest, they'll sleep and spend their time. Oh my goodness, it's right next to us. They'll spend their time resting and sleeping on the ice. So without icebergs or sea ice for them to call out on, they wouldn't be able to have their very important rest. Right, and how do they keep warm? I mean, it's extremely cold on the ice. Surely they would freeze to death. Blubber. Blubber, what's mm. blubber? Blubber is basically a fatty layer around their body that's a, the skin and then a blubber layer. And that's a very, very good insulator against the, uh, the frigid Antarctic condition. Wow, now these leopard seals seem very friendly to us. Um, I, uh, why are they so curious when it comes to human beings? And do you think they've seen many people before? I, honestly, I don't think they would have seen many people before. And the curiosity is absolutely incredible. I would honestly just put it down to one of those marvels of the natural world. We don't exactly know why they show us such curiosity because sometimes they want to be feeding and they wouldn't pay us any attention. Whereas today we are being treated to an absolutely spectacular sight. It's like we've made three new friends already this morning. So my understanding is that the main prey for the leopard seal are penguins. Can you tell us how do they actually hunt penguins? So they hunt penguins by uh, patrolling the coastline where the penguin colonies are. And this time of the year is a great time for them to be eating penguin because the chicks that have just fledged are making their way into the sea for the first time. They're kind of easy pickles, really. Oh. Yeah, I know it's a little bit sad, but such is nature. We just have to accept it for how it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah so the, the leopard seal will and uh, ambush the, uh, the penguins on the surface and, um, and sort of thrash them about and uh, get what they want, that meat on the inside. What kind of things do they like? I mean, I understand they don't like the feathers. Yeah, they don't like the feathers, exactly. How do they get rid of these feathers? So they get rid of the feathers by uh, latching onto the penguin carcass itself and thrashing it about, which can um, try and turn it uh, inside out to get to what they want on Good. the inside. Hey, these things are very vicious. Yeah, they so, can be. So there's lots and lots of predators and prey in this area. I understand that the orc is one of the eight ex predators. Yeah. How does the leopard seal fit into the ecosystem? So the leopard seal is also one of our apex predators, uh, just given that they have those, those large teeth and they can basically hunt what they like, penguins being a very uh, important part of that. But interestingly, with our leopard seals, whilst they can be these voracious hunters, 80% of their diet is actually made up like krill. Krill? Krill. The same thing as our baleen whales are eating. Yes, but how do they, I mean, krill's very small, and a leopard seal has a relatively small mouth. How do they get the krill into their body so efficiently? So the leopard seal's teeth, that's what it comes down to. So they've got these blunt teeth that are perfect for latching onto those penguins. And then all of the teeth down the sides, then what are known as tricuspid molars. Wow. And they've got these, so tri being three, they've got three different elements to it. And they use that as a sieve. So it sieves the water out right. and keeps the krill inside their mouth so they can eat it. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Now, when they're in the water and they're potentially chasing a penguin, uh, you know, who wins that matter? Are penguins more agile than leopard seals? We wouldn't say that penguins are more agile, and that's why they utilise these coastal areas where the penguins are entering the water. Out in the open sea, the penguin would be much faster, more agile, smaller, can quite easily get away. So yes. they utilise these coastal areas. Ah, amazing. Now, I, I understand that I was reading National Geographic and there was a, um, there was a photographer stranded on a piece of ice. And um, the leopard seal spotted him. 
And although it's big and has these sharp teeth and is very vicious and an amazing hunter, this leopard seal acknowledged that this man potentially was struggling captured some penguins and brought them to him to yeah. try to feed him. I don't know if you know this story. Y yes, I have heard that. Um, I believe I've heard that story or one very similar. Yeah. It was quite interesting. And believe it or not, I was very lucky only a few weeks ago to be in a zodiac like this with a leopard seal hunting penguins and it delivered us a penguin, it gifted us a penguin. a penguin. Wow. And this behavior I can't tell you much um, of the details of it, but it was one of the most incredible things I've ever had. Oh my goodness, it's just popped up right here. Oh. It's right next to all, it's under the building hat. Now, this, uh, this leads us into what we're talking about this week, because even though these predators, these uh, leopard seals are very vicious and very big and quick swimmers, it seems that within them, they have this sense of care and responsibility. I mean, there are numerous stories that although they capture penguins and they hunt them and they eat them and they skin them and eat the meat inside, it sounds very ferocious and vicious, hello, mister, that they actually um, are quite terrible. Now, this week, we're actually going to be researching our method seals, but we're going to be doing something very interesting indeed. We're learning from nature. We're learning from nature here in Antarctica. Now, uh, this leopard seal we have around us is very, very friendly, coming to say hello. But also, the seals can be quite caring. And this week, we want you to think about exactly that. If you're on the playground, you see somebody who is looking lovely. If you're in the school and somebody is upset, a wonderful thing to do is to go along to see if they are okay. Just like the leopard seal is doing work, and it's actually under our boat and pouring us a visit as we speak. This is absolutely phenomenal. Off you go. Thank you, Anna. Amazing. Perfect.